Well, I just wanted to backtrack because you were talking about something very interesting about the whole scandal mm -hmm. thing, and people are so fascinated with the myth more than the facts. And yes. Why is that? Why do you suppose she got this strange mystery Kennedy's uh, connection? Well, uh, the circumstances of her death were tragic and to an extent I guess could be accurately described as mysterious. In fact, I personally don't even know many of the details, but that was the general impression. So that's part of the answer to your question. Uh, then the Kennedy tragedy itself and the ongoing tragedy of that whole family line is part of American history and part of American mythology. Uh, I have a recent book out called Dump, D-O-M-B-T-H, which deals with the collapse of intelligence in our country. And there are many disturbing uh, forms of evidence for our goofy thinking, the popularity of many cult religions, which are without exception goof religions, is one uh, dismaying bit of evidence. Then the fact that millions of Americans, including presidents and people who should know better, are seriously involved with astrology, which is nonsense. <laughs> At least if the word evidence means anything anymore or the word proof means anything anymore. It is nonsense. Now what is fascinating is astronomy, the true science on which the nonsense theories are based. God, that is about as thrilling as anything can ever be to humans. There probably aren't well, I don't, since I'm living a meaningless number, there are very few people in our society interested in astronomy. That's where the real excitement is. Rush to it, it's available. But anyway, there's no sense doing a long lecture here about the, on the show. But it is depressing how many people are not much interested in reality, not much interested in facts, and have almost no interest in evidence. If, if they want to believe that God is a blueberry pie, uh, you and I can convince them to the, oh, no, I'm wrong. You and I can argue to the contrary because we know that God is not a blueberry pie. But if they do, you'd be surprised how resourceful they could be in rejecting our evidence. People think Elvis is still alive. Yeah, they think Elvis is still alive. They think James Dean is still alive. They think I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Would I be sitting here today if I were still living at these prices? Come on. Um, do you know how she got the whole connection to the Kennedys? I think she had uh, an interview in prison with Jack Ruby. Yes, she did inter interview Ruby, apparently. And beyond that, uh, my comments wouldn't be worth much because I really don't know uh, much about the details of the case. But again, she was, among other things, an investigative journalist, a reporter. So it was her professional business to investigate and report on the bas basis of her investigations. So she had a legitimate reason for being involved with that uh, ongoing story. But all the stuff about the, the fact that somebody might have had her killed be before she could tell the truth about the CIA, or, well, that sort of thing, that's all nonsense thinking. How, do you remember how it was reported when she passed away? I'm sorry to say I don't, yeah. this little piece won't do you any good. Did she ever, did you see her later, in the late 60s ever, or in the... No, by the 60s, I might have run into her at an occasional premiere or something of that sort. We remained friends, but uh, by that time I had moved away from New York and was here in Los Angeles doing my television and other work. So I didn't run into her as much as I did in the 50s. Uh, did you, were you ever on the show when Johnny Ray was on? Uh, no. Of all the apparently true facts about Dorothy, <laughs> that one really astonished me. Uh, it's not that I am making any moral comments. I don't mean that she was involved with someone else. It's all too common human failing. But uh, if somebody had said, we have here a list of a thousand names of famous Americans, and terrible as it sounds, Dorothy Kilgallen is romantically involved with one of them, I would never <laughs> have picked Johnny Ray. Uh, we all know people, sometimes married people, of whom we say, I wish them well, I like Bob and I like Irene, but what they are doing together beats the hell out of me. It was that kind of a relationship had it ever developed into a real ongoing relationship. I, I know very little about it, but it never made much sense to me. And he was, well, we know that he was gay, but was, was that known back then, hmm? or did he kind of hide that? Believe it or not, I didn't even know he was gay. Uh, 
and my reaction, oddly enough, when I, what I said a moment ago, was not based on the fact of his gayness, because there are some strange relationships where a straight person and a gay person are very fond of each other, maybe even experimentally have sex. You know, some people, as you know, can have sexual relations with, with men, with women, with kangaroos, with all kinds of other creatures. But uh, I wasn't not talking about that when I mentioned it's an odd relationship. I knew Johnny from before he became famous, and I, I don't mean to say anything demeaning what a, about him, whatever. He deserved his stardom. But it sure doesn't make sense to me that he had an affair with, with Dorothy Kilgallen. She seemed to be very much in love with him for years. Go, as we say on the streets, go figure. I knew nothing about it, nor can I explain it. Um, of course. She was, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, uh, you'll edit this, I don't know. Uh, as Carson McCullers' title puts it, the heart is a lonely hunter. So there are, in all our lives, relationships of which we're aware that are a total mystery. Sometimes you hear it in such common phrases, what does he see in her? Or what does she see in him? Then there are other cases where, oh yeah, I'm so glad that Jim and, and Mabel are together. They're the perfect couple. Uh, Dorothy and Johnny were not the perfect couple. Did you uh, know her? she was married? I know that. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess before Johnny Ray. Did you know him? Was she married on What's My Line? Uh, not that I know of. Of course, she was on the show for a long, long time. I was on it for, a, I don't know, a year and a half or two years, something like that. And I didn't follow its personal history before I got there. Uh, oddly enough, I've been so busy doing television over the years that I, I never have watched that much television. Well, just getting back to her death, my last question is, do you, do you have an opinion on what happened to her? No, I don't. If someone would bring me all the evidence as a writer of detective fiction, I might sift through it and develop some creative theories, but they would only be theories. And in the absence of any ability to investigate the participants, uh, my, my opinion isn't worth any more than anybody else's, I guess. And um, how do you think that Dorothy Kilgallen will be remembered? She will probably be chiefly remembered because of this program you're doing <laughs> about her. Other than that, uh, the national tendency to forget stuff that should be remembered, plus stuff that doesn't matter that much, is uh, increasing apace, as they used to say. Uh, someone asked me just the other day, given that I'm 77 years old, I won't be around forever, how do I want to be remembered? And I answered with the thought that is now relevant to, to, about Dorothy. I don't care how I'm remembered at all. I know because I've seen what happens when the truly great of the world jump off the ship of fools, that they tend to be remembered till about Thursday. After that, it's, hey, what's for lunch? Or what did the Yankees do today? You know, where everybody's very busy. There are a thousand and one things even retired people have to concern themselves with. And while we all ought to be eternally interested in those who have accomplished great things or performed great services for society, the sad fact is we are not uh, involved as much as we should be with their memories. Do you think it's getting worse? It seems like it might be. Well, the problem of the short attention span of the American people is worsening. That's one of the points I make in my book, Dumpf. Uh, also, the book has 101 ways to contradict uh, that trend. But uh, yeah, the answer to your question is yes, it is getting worse. Uh, a lot of reasons, and I, I think it would be irrelevant to go into them now. Yeah. I mean, I just have a personal question. When I see actors today, like Julia Roberts and these people that are getting $20 million a movie, and then their next movie comes out and it doesn't do so well, it's like yeah. they're forgotten. It's there, like they're, they're, the public's only interested in the latest craze. And that is very true. It, it's hard to say what, quote, the public, end quote, is interested in because you're immediately talking about separate millions of factors and uh, there can be certain reasons why a given picture doesn't make much money when people thought it would and they put 30 million into its production and they only make 10 million back so it's a financial disaster a lot of reasons to explain that so it's, it's very difficult to be arbitrary or judgmental about it or certainly one cannot be authoritative about it but uh, it is true as you say I remember reading a few years ago a, a very cruel put-down review of an album by John Denver. Now this was about five years after Denver had been at the top of the charts, as they say, but he was just as good, 
as of that five years later date, as he had been at the peak of his success, he hadn't retired and entered an old folks home. He was still performing around the country. And I, for one, enjoyed his work as much as ever. But the reviewer, who sounded about 21, to, if you can judge about such things, put the man down simply because he hadn't had a big album in two years, as if it was some kind of character failing on Denver's part. Uh, in that one incident doesn't mean much, except it's typical. There is that terrible tendency, after you've had four blockbuster movies, if your fifth isn't in that category, they talk about you with a little contempt. That is cruel, and it's also stupid. How, how different was it back with, like, we'll say, um, Dorothy's column? It wasn't like she was tabloid criticism, and she was more telling you the latest mm. facts, or... Oh, yeah. There was, as I see, even in Winchell's column and Ed Sullivan's and all the famous columns, had a hopper all over us. There was always a little sprinkling of what we now consider tabloid gossipy material. Uh, this often had to do with the fact that some of the columnists <laughs> were less than perfect human beings, so they could vent their own animosities and spleens and biases and prejudices in their column. What, what great power it gave them, and often it was misused, misapplied. But uh, it was nothing like today's out and out, nothing but gossip kind of approach to that element of journalism. Uh, Rupert Murdoch is among those who res is responsible for that, although he has plenty of company. And the real responsibility lies with the human race. If people don't like gossip, they should stop reading it. Uh, but that is not about to happen. But anyway, Dorothy was not one of the offenders in that way. She was just average, I would say, in that regard. I did want to add that we are interviewing Liz Smith also next week. Who? Liz Smith. Oh, good. So she'll yeah. be a part of the program as well. It'll be yeah. interesting to hear her take also. Exactly, because she's uh, a famous columnist today, although don't quote this because I like Liz. Her column, even though she's probably every bit as good at the trade as Dorothy was, the, the, the world has changed and the column of that sort just doesn't mean what the big columnists of 40 years ago meant. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Any other stories or anything? Uh, I would like to add 6 and 14, which I think comes to 20, but that does it for addition at the moment. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. And my regards to your dad. Oh.